Hello and uh, welcome to another tutorial. Uh, this time we will gonna talk about um, Libre NMS and uh, in this uh, video I'm gonna show you how you can install Libre NMS uh, with HTTPS. Now before we begin I would like to tell you that 97% um, of the people which are watching these videos they are not subscribed to the channel so um, if you like the content please subscribe to the channel because it takes a lot of time to uh, do these tutorials uh, edit them and so on uh, right now let's uh, begin with um, our uh, libre nms tutorial so we will gonna do the um, requirements right now Uh, then we will gonna do an app update and after that uh, we will install um, um, the programs that uh, we will need for library NMS like fping, git, um, ruby and php oh ruby for this one we don't need it but we actually need uh, maria database and uh, many others Okay, so now we will gonna add or create the Libre NMS user. And, and right now we will gonna uh, download Libre NMS uh, from GitHub. Okay, so now we will gonna set uh, some permissions for LibreNMS. We will have to install some PHP dependencies. After this, we will uh, configure the Maria database server or the Maria database, not the server itself, it's running on the server. So there are just a few lines uh, to add after the MySQL D section. Save the file, exit, 
and uh, enable the service and then restart it. Okay, so uh, we will have to run MySQL. And we will have to change the, uh, or create a database, then add the user. And after we are adding the user, we need to grant the privileges to the new created user, which will gonna be uh, Libre NMS. Now we have to configure the PHP FPM and here we will simply remove the WW and replace it with LibreNMS. The next step would be to uh, change the WW data in the user and the group to uh, LibreNMS, both of them. Another field would be the field listen that we will have to take a look at it and um, uh, change it uh, to something unique. Save the file and exit. The next step would be to configure the web server. Um, and here we will do it uh, with uh, NGINX. Here we are modifying the IP address where the server will listen on. After that, uh, we will have to um, remove the default ones and then uh, uh, restart NGINX and check the status of it. And naturally the PHP 7.4 FPM service. Now here I don't have any kind of uh, SE Linux or uh, firewall by default, so everything is disabled considering that it's a test environment. However, if you have such a thing, please make sure that uh, you add the rules. Here we are enabling the LNMS command completion. Then we will have to configure the SNMP. And here I'm replacing the string to the community string yeah, instead of the random string, which is by default.
then we will have to go to the web installer and uh, see if everything uh, checks for the pre-install then we will click on the configuration of for the database for the host we will have localhost the port will be the default one unisac in nothing and then for um, user uh, library nms just uh, library nms Okay, after that one goes fine, we will have to build a database. After we are building the database, we will have to create an uh, admin user. The Here we will have admin admin. And right now we will have to validate the install actually. And here on the warnings, uh, we have two things. We need to add uh, a device for SNMP. And I have actually forgot to set a time and date uh, for PHP. So these fixes we will have to do one by one. Now we will add the local host which is the Ubuntu server. Okay, now that we have done that, all we have to do would be the PHP. Uh, time zone fixing and for that we will have to go back to the CLI Then we will search for the time zone. We will simply have to delete the, sem uh, the semicolon in front of it. Now the other one. And we leave it to the default ones, which is uh, UTC. Now we are setting the manual uh, time zone on the server itself. And there are some things which are still missing. So let's just reboot the server. So after the reboot, everything goes back to normal. And uh, yeah, all we have to do right now, the last step would be to enable HTTPS for our Libre and uh, for this one we will use uh, OpenSSL to generate uh, a self-signed certificate and a key. Here you can enter some kind of details, uh, whatever you want when you get prompted. Then we need to go into our uh, ngi-nx file and uh, actually tell it to use uh, HTTPS. Here I'm changing the port to 8081. Server uh, IP address will be the same. Now we will have to add our um, certificate and key 
and the folders that uh, LibreNMS needs to check. And for the listen, we will need to tell it to go for SSL HTTP2. Save the file and exit. Then we will restart the NGINX service and check one more time the web interface with uh, HTTPS in front of it. And that's it. Thanks for watching and talk to you guys in the next one.